Hey, hey, what's going on, peeps? Hope you're doing awesome, possum. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds episode 32. So we're gonna go do a mission for Lilia Hagen, where we have to gain access to a space station and find the cartridge that will hand over control of it and give it to Lilia. But before we go, I want to see if there's any any more information we can get from her or give to her. Don't forget about the research station. I haven't. A score this big comes once a career, and only if you're lucky. Consider me lucky then. Hey, you know, back in uh, Cascadia, I found something unusual in the lab. No kidding. The board sure wanted that place kept secret, and not just because of the pricey salvage. Out. Yeah, some of the uh, lead scientist logs uh, referenced human experimentation. Huh, that's new. When the board wants to experiment on colonists, they usually just release an exclusive line of products. I see. Well, whatever they were studying, it didn't stop at Cascadia. It takes deep pockets to move a research staff off-world. I'd bet you my desk they were mixing more than just soft drink flavors. No doubt. Someone uh, also erected a shrine ar around a uh, scientist's preserved corpse. It was, uh, <laughs> it was pretty weird. Wow. That sounds spooky as fuck. And frankly, I'm a little jealous. Right? Damn. Now I've got to see that for myself. Morbid curiosity gets the better of me every time. All right. Well, I guess that's all. Be careful out there, contractor. Don't step on any toes unless you're ready for a fight. All right. Duly noted. Anyway, let's go head out and do that, shall we? But before, before I go over and do that, I want to actually go and see if Jun Lei has anything else to say to me. I haven't really checked in on any of those peeps in a long time. Who knows, there might even be more people I uh, haven't talked to. Because I haven't really explored this place fully yet. Such as this person, Edna In Ingmeyer. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. Oh. Why would we, uh, why would we run out of time? You, uh, headed somewhere? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. Oh, yeah? We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. Okay. So, uh, why are you, uh, why are you about to lose comm uh, capabilities anyway? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Oh. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Well, it sounds like it's time to get the uh, auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. You know, I could check out the relay. No need for uh, official sign-off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. Not at all. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? That is a little weird. It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Sounds like fun. Alright, cool, so we got a new mission as well. We gotta go to a relay station. Is the relay station the same place that Sublight wants me to, uh, to salvage? Kinda doubt it. Anyway... Yeah, it's, it's totally different. Travel to Relay GB23. 
We'll do the Ice Palace first, which is the one with the uh, the station we got to salvage. Oh, see, there's also Private... Wait, have we talked to Private Taylor? I don't think so. Where the hell... Suppose it's time to reevaluate my career goals. Apparently. Temps are lowering across the station. Anyone outside is getting a hell of a light show from the droplet arrays. Ooh. Thanks for the help. Let me know if you ever need... Alright, anyway. Looks like... Looks like there's no one else I can really talk to. This is Halcyon Dune. The ship's groaning something fierce, but I can make time for you. Uh, looks like she doesn't have anything to say. All right, cool. Ooh, should I break into her office? I never really uh, thought about this. Great work. Yeah. Suck it, June Lay. Ooh, lots of armor parts and stuff. Weapon parts galore, dude. Surprised Parvati's not pissed about this, seeing as they're uh, supposedly an item, right? All right, cool beans, baby. Nothing else in here. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's go back to the ship and see if we can find that station that we're gonna salvage. I am a dirty autonomous digital astrogator, Sam. I haven't cleaned my internals in ages. God. Can you hardly process the sheer quantity of dust built up in there? Oh God. Tell me you've seen worse. Ah. Um, we'll continue this later. <laughs> Damn, dude, things are getting sexual. <laughs> that was, uh, super weird. <laughs> Apparently Sam and Ada are, uh, getting a little busy. All right, let's travel to HRS 1084. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. Oh, oh boy. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Oh. All right. Go see what's up, shall we? Oh, before I go, I'm gonna see if I can repair my uh, my weapons. They're probably probably broken down a little bit. Uh, not too bad. Go repair them all, though. Oh, by the way, I'm not using my. What is it? I'm not using my my launchers, so I can probably store those away for now. It's too bad I can't use this locker right there. All right, uh, I got a purple berry launcher, which is a secret science weapon. We just got the regular plasma launcher, and I can break down these other items once I... Or, I mean, I can uh, sell them once I find a uh, vending machine. All right, let's just take Parvati and uh, Nioka like usual. All right, this should be cool. UDL. Why is the grave in here? We should get the power generator going again. Might cheer up the place. Yeah, totally. Restricted access and it's all glitched out. Oh, this is cool beans. Alright, restore power or override terminal? Let's go restore power first. Sealed up. I wonder if there's a secret way in there. Ooh. Alright, looks like we're gonna get up there later. Ooh. What is this? Ooh. Got a sawed off shoddy. We got ourselves a safe. Weapon parts, fun times barrel, extendo sight. We got a blank UDL key card. Beautiful. Splendid. We open this door. Probably gotta use the terminal, right? Uh restore power supply to station to resume normal terminal operations. Alright, so we can't use the terminals until we get the power back online. Ooh, we got a mag pick. Well, let's go try to make that a priority. But first, we're gonna go up this ladder. Oh, so this is how we get up there. Beautiful. Got a dead scientist. He's got a hunting rifle ultra. Light ammo. 
ammo, bypass shunt, which we don't need. Beautiful. All right, let's go get that power, shall we? Oh, got some stuff and things. Oh, stuff and things everywhere, baby. Probably closed, right? Yeah, it's sealed. Everything's all sealed up. Got a ring. Oh, that's mine. Uh, we ought to keep an eye on these autos. We poke around too much, they might wake up. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's some auto mechanicals down there. I wish I could turn the uh, the HUD off by using a button or a key on my keyboard for when I'm not in combat. That'd be kind of cool. So we're probably not able to use this yet until the power's on. Right, how the hell do we get over there? Down in that room. Okay. So we go down here, right? Well, what the? That was weird. I just got thrusted forward. Thought someone was butt humping me there for a second. <laughs> You gotta ask for consent. <laughs> oh, that's a window. Apparently that shocked me in the brain. Hopefully that's not gonna wake up the auto mechanicals. That'd be no bueno, baby. Sealed, sealed. Everything's probably sealed, right? Yeah. I wonder if I can use these once the uh, once the power is back on. That's sealed as well. What the hell? Hmm. That doesn't go anywhere. Interesting. All right. I guess this was not the right way to go. Here we go. Some biddies. Got a muzzler mod. Energy cells. Toss ball card. Nothing I want. Five biddies. And cool. All right, here we go. Power's coming back up, baby. Modified generator mode normal. Look at all those activations. Flushing the toilets. That's <laughs> that's always good as well. Oh no, there's an error flushing the toilets. See maintenance logs. Oh no. Gonna be shit everywhere. View facility status report. Repair toilet. Error. The existing work order was open 991 days ago. There's 991 day old shit. Oh my god. That is no bueno, dude. Captain, I've been attempting to contact you with urgent news. Oh yeah? However, communicational functionality was impaired due to the power outage. So what's going on, Ada? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. Oh yeah. So glad we finally have this opportunity. My ship is docked with 1084. There's no escape. What the hell's 1084? But uh, I gotta ask you. What the hell do you even want? You've been poking your nose into restricted locations. Yeah, get over it. This makes my superiors unhappy. I could peel your ship open like a can of forest. But I'm in a sporting mood. <laughs> you know, you're about to make an enemy of Sublight. Trust me, you do not want that. Sublight? Ah, I hate him when you outlaws organize. The paperwork for killing you would be the death of me. Hey, sorry. Uh, better luck next time, Chief. Don't apologize. This is my problem, not yours. Squad, I'm ordering a recall. There's a misspelling on orders that ought to be corrected. On the double. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. 
That's easy. Damn. I ought to try talking more and fighting less. Seems like it saves on ammunition. Nah, <laughs> that ain't no fun. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed that I was able to uh, persuade her to leave. I was actually uh, looking forward to a fight. All right, anyway, nothing else we can do here, right? All right, cool. So we've dealt with those suckers. All right, we can't go in the generator room. That's fine. Nothing in the bin. All right. Go beans, baby. All right, so are we going to get in trouble for going in the restricted... It just says restricted... Oh. <gasps> it just says restricted area access code required. So we, we got to make ourselves a uh, an I We got to put an ID on the ID card that we found. If we don't want to fight these guys. But honestly... I might as well, right? I don't know. And you know what? Let's do it. Be one with me. <laughs> Listen to this music. <laughs> it's so stupid, dude. The goofiest thing ever. Let's see, is my flamethrower gonna hurt these guys since it shoots acid now? Oh yeah. Absolutely melts them, baby. Alright, so now that the power is online, let's go check out this terminal over here. Ooh, what's that? Shipping label, one case of UDL concussive mines. Ooh. Wish I could get my hands on those puppies. But yeah, the uh <laughs> the mind control ray is uh <laughs> super goofy. It's down. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun, uh it's gonna be fun to use this on actual humans though. Once once I get the opportunity. Alright, uh encode the uh key card. There we go. Key card encoded successfully. Messages from redacted closing down. A transport vessel has been dispatched, blah blah blah. I've taken a little bit of upgrading the sensitive materials. Not interfere with the tanks. Alright, whatever. Personal files, note on Guthrie J. James is gone and he, and he never said goodbye. He could have said something, James. We're never short on time. Nothing's keeping me here now. The bits aren't worth it. I've requested a transfer. Note on Chief Kimball. Kimball thinks there's trouble on the docks. Oh, wait. Once the docks run out of warm bodies, if James was around, I know he... Man, this James guy is really important. All right, anyway. Oh, we can open stuff and things now. Beautiful. That terminal's broken up there, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go rock and roll. Oh wait, there was a terminal upstairs. Security routines. Hack for 65, engage auto mechanical recharge protocols. I don't have hack 65, it looks like. Damn. Uh, they're just talking about how uh, the personnel mo uh, morale is low. Nobody's having a good time. It's all, it's all bad stuff. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Can we get in there now? Oh yeah, baby. These guys are all dead or Door's locked up. It's barred. Crab. Crab snappity doo -dah. Oh. Step lively, Captain. Unlock with More electrical safety. control room key card. Don't mind if I do. Thing in the drawers? Not really. Got some ammo. Got a terminal. Uh, security routines. Disengage checkpoint security. All right. Cool beans. Personal files. Mama bear. Kimball came by asking if any of the docks had been around. I told her what I know. It's been quiet. Just ask Alpha. She walked off with a spring in her step. Okay, weird. Then she requisitioned a UDL Electrofloor 3000 for my checkpoint in a crate of concussive mines. Guess she didn't believe me. Is she prepared for war? Hmm. Some weird stuff going on here. We got the living quarters, armor parts, gel and stuff I don't want. Oop. 
Ammo. Beautiful. Some Adreno. More ammo. Mag pick. 45 bitties. Ooh, necklace. I thought they wouldn't shoot me because I had the ID card, but never mind. I guess that's not the case. Wait, is that guy on my side? It's weird. But all right. Oh, dude. We got more floating bodies. Subject, Dr. James Guthrie. Current status, alive. Extremely unstable conditions. Stasis setting active. Note, subject will need extensive nuclein resequencing for any chance of viable extraction. I'm so sorry it ended up like this, James. Oh, this is James! We will come back for you all and fix this. I swear on it. Please forgive us. Stuff and things went down here, man. What's this? Subject, Dr. Claire Persall. Current status alive, unstable. Please hold on, Claire. We almost had it this time. I swear we'll bring you back with love. Where is she at? Oh, she's up there. Huh, I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can wake him up. And do the repairs if I have a, a medical level high enough. That'd be interesting. The plot thickens. Alright. Head upstairs. Unbar this. And this place is super cool. Alright, uh, security routines, modify system access protocols. Insert sublight override cartridge. All right, so they have remote access to the station now. Return to route. Project summary. All right, so maybe we can figure out what exactly was going on here. Or maybe I shouldn't have skipped over those messages, messages earlier. <laughs> uh, executive research focus group. Purpose biological hybridization and assimilation strategies. Active team members. Inactive team members, blah, blah, blah. Goal is to further the chimeric sciences via the targeted modification of human nuclei using strands obtained from Halcyon native fauna, aka raptodons. So they're trying to enhance human beings by using raptodon DNA, I guess? Messages redacted. Station morale. It has come to my attention that a culture of distrust has soured relations between HRS 1084's research staff and security personnel. Many of you have submitted requests for early dismissal. To the research staff, the importance of your work supersedes any interpersonal conflict. To our security personnel, there will be no early dismissal. You will also notice that your employment contract has no set end date. We can enjoy a discussion of morale and its impact on, on success metrics once the question of humanity's place in the Halcyon colony is answered. In the meantime, get back to work. Oh, they're, they're doing a lot of stuff here. We almost lost Charlie. It was a runaway resequencing shift. Once it started, it kept going, spreading beyond the isolated tissue to a full-blown systematic infiltration. He said it was like every organ was itchy. I told him we'd ice him, freeze him up until we could work out how to reverse what had gone wrong. Every, every time Lore walked by me, she rubbed my shoulders and asked me to take a different reading. They didn't need to be taken. It was just to keep my mind occupied. She's been checking on me every hour since. We had to put Claire on ice today as well. She and the others drew straws Claire lost. The change was slower this time. At first, the resequence stayed within normal parameters, but then it spread again, just like with Charlie. Tomorrow, I'm reaching out to my handler directly. I need some answers. I wonder how, I wonder how uh, Guthrie's doing. I hear symphony music from his door. This log is being entered by Dr. Fall. I had to prescribe Dr. Dr. Chartrand enough sedatives to knock him out or to knock out a primal. Yesterday morning, Dr. Guthrie and I drew straws to decide which of us would be the next test subject. He pulled the short one. 
No new developments. After all of our sacrifices, it still feels like we're miles away from a breakthrough. Eva hasn't forgotten herself, uh, or hasn't forgiven herself for the losses. Maybe some time away from HRS 1084 will clear her mind. The board confirmed receipt of my report and transmitted our recall notice. We're just awaiting transport. I wish we could take some time away from the project to, uh, to clear our heads, but we're not even close to that point. I can access outbound comms transcript. Transmission begins. Is anyone listening on this frequency? Redacted, who is this? I'm the project lead on 1084. I wanted... Uh, Station 1084, you have orders to maintain wireless silence until a mission end state is achieved. Uh, password antediluvian. Redacted, what can I do for you, doctor? The board told me they, they would uh, deliver my queries about our transcription problem on the Cornelius Vanderbilt. What are we... Or where are we with that? Uh, I'm afraid I can't provide any updated status... At this time, Doctor. The assault cruiser should have arrived on Earth by now. My query was addressed to the Chimerical Research Department at Georges de Hevesi Institute in Budapest. Uh, one of my associates will reach out when we have an update. When? Aren't you in contact with the assault cruiser? What happened out there? Station 1084. Uh, misuse of this, of this channel is a fireable offense, as is abusing your executive override, save in cases of emergency. Damn it, this is an emer- and then and they cut him off. Ooh, emergency override for user discontinued. Duration indefinite. Wow, they just left these peeps out here Doctor. to dry. We can go home to the ship, right? I've been missing Ada fierce. <laughs> Chartrand is that scientist, right? Yeah. From Cascadia? Yeah, this is some weird stuff going on here, man. Oh, one in there so bad, but we need level 100 pick. Son of a biscuit. Who knows what could be in there, man? There's no way to unlock that? Oh, we need hack level 65. Suppose so. What's uh what's our hack level at right now? Uh only 50. Crap. Maybe I should start putting points into something else besides dialogue now. <laughs> the blade will thank us for this. I hope that thanks comes in the form of cash. Yeah, I feel you. Tick. Don't we know Chartrand from Cascadia? Yeah. Sure do. Alright, uh, let's go see. I think there's some other doors we haven't unlocked yet, right? Oh, that doesn't that doesn't say anything on it. it just goes back down to the power station. And this is probably still busted, right? Yeah, it's still busted. Alright, I think we've pretty much gone everywhere in here, other than that uh, locked personnel's quarter. So maybe we'll have to come back here once we uh, get the necessary lockpick or the necessary hack. That'd be cool beans. Anyway, let's blow this popsicle stand. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Hey, no problem. But, uh, you know, uh, the base had scientists in suspension takes, uh, tanks. Some might actually still be alive. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Good call. Aside from the automated security... Did you meet any resistance at the station? Uh, a UDL gunship uh, buzzed uh, the station, but I convinced him to back off, actually. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Yeah, I kind of thought so. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. We might have figured that out already. Yeah, a rare gas in a lab that tested it on people couldn't have been a coincidence. You have an eye for patterns. Good. We need more contractors like you. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. 
Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big, something none of us were meant to know. Bad news, I take it? Maybe the worst. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. I'm guessing you got an idea? Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Oh yeah, I can do it. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. Aliens? Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. Right. I'm done. I'm officially <laughs> tuning you out until such time as I hear the words payment and or shooting. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? A, f a few, uh, for sure. If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. You know, I didn't see anything, I mean, I didn't read those messages thoroughly on the station, but I didn't see anything about aliens. It's like Raptodon DNA getting mixed with human and stuff like that. But, like, when you say aliens, what exactly are you talking about? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. Well, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen any evidence of aliens, but I did see that, uh, that they were mixing people's DNA. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Hmm. Well, all right, I guess, uh, tell me what needs to be done. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species, and I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Hmm. So why does she need to die? She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Ooh. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. You know, when did Sublight get so principled? It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add Savior of Humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on Alien Salvage. You know, the, the labs I passed through didn't seem that evil. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Oh, yeah. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Hmm. You know, murder isn't exactly covered under my contract or employment agreement. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. So what am I going to get for joining up? Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want? A promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. Hmm. You know, where exactly does uh, does the fine doctor fit into your alien conspiracy exactly? 
We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. You know, I don't think there's aliens involved in this at all. <laughs> but the experiments they, they, that they're doing are pretty muffed up, so maybe I should just kill that doctor anyway. Alright, anyway, sounds messy. I'll, I'll take the job. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Ooh. Damn, dude. Stuff's getting stuff's getting intense. Kind of makes me wonder if the alien thing's actually real or not. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, guys, looks like we're going to leave the episode off there. This is getting pretty exciting, honestly. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. As always, if you did, a thumbs up and subscription would be mucho excelente. And I will see you fine folks in the next episode. They'll never see us. They'll never see us.